my heart has always been to help people. Um, I worked fire and rescue for about five or six years, and I thought I was going to do that for the rest of my life, but I wanted to make a change and kind of just flip the script, and I decided to go back to school. So I've always thought that low income and at risk only meant urban communities. I never thought about rural communities. And going to Bertie County blew my mind on a totally different level. Originally, I kind of thought I was going to go into research, and I'm still kind of digging that path, um, but I'm also really interested in like education and the science outreach aspect of science and like communicating science to everyone. My internship was at Sylvan Heights Bird Park in Scotland Neck. It's basically a small zoo um, be focusing on birds. Um, they have birds from every continent except Antarctica. In their peak times in the summer, they have over 500 people and 1,000 people coming through a day. The chamber has input on tourism. So because so many people have left that area, that's another level of dev devastation that they're seeing. I went to a tourism summit near Plymouth. Um, so we went through there. There's a beautiful vineyard there. Um, and it is a homegrown, the, the individual that owns it, he grew up in the area and purchased the property and he's been, you know, lived there, worked there, and been trying to help bring that area up. Communities are working together. That's where you see partnerships. One of the things that I learned a lot about this during this process was you need partners. And I'm seeing where rural communities are beginning to partner together to try to shine light on each other. I was glad to be in on the ground, you know, putting my foot to the pavement and being able to walk around and see the devastation as well as the rebuilding. The main reason that they had the in, an intern or they have the SECU intern was for their um, Soaring into Science program. And that is a grant funded um, summer bridge program for rising ninth graders. Um, I taught different lessons. Um, I led different um, activities and things like that. We had a day where we did dissections with the students and we dissected a bird and we dissected a turtle and we looked at that kind of comparative anatomy thing. We do a lot with like taking them out in the park um, and they do kind of like a mini uh, project where they uh, find something that's interesting to them and they do some research and then they observe the birds in captivity and do things like that. My, all my jobs are on campus. So when school is out, that means my job is over. Um, the internship really helped me out with being able to travel, to see, you know, Bertie is an hour away from me. So I wouldn't have had any gas money. I wouldn't have been able to get there back and forth. I wouldn't have been able to pay my rent over the summertime had I not had the financial assistance with this particular internship. It, would, it wouldn't have been an option for me. Without this internship, I probably would have been looking for maybe a job on campus. I would have been working on my research more. Uh, I probably would have done some credit hours to work on my um, towards my senior thesis, um, and probably working like as a waiter or something. <laughs> um, so it was a much more uh, meaningful experience to be able to work at Silver Heights. So this internship has had a huge impact on how I'm looking at what I'm going to do next year, because um, originally, like I said, I wanted to go to biology grad school and go into research and um, ecology research, something like that, but um, I've really taken a step back after this and looked at maybe um, a graduate degree in education may be more right for me, and uh, or science education, or a biology graduate degree that has a focus in science outreach and education. The, the level of experience that I got, again, going back to that word partnership, um, it, it's, it's taught me that I shouldn't be closed-minded when it comes to opportunity. I want to ultimately get settled in a career that I'm happy. I love getting up to go to work. And I wouldn't mind going to a community like that, you know? Coming home, you know, in the state that I grew up and being able to work in one of those communities like Bertie or, you know, one of those rural communities. Helping them out and being able to be a part, like again, on the ground floor of infrastructure, on the ground floor of bringing up you know, these communities, bringing them back from devastation or helping to surge some new innovative ideas. I'm excited about what, what's going on in winter in the Bertie County area.